Welcome back to Who Chose. So as you can see, the pumpkins are going nuts. Uh, so this video, I'm just going to do a, a quick update on the pumpkins. Uh, I want to show you uh, what happened to one of the pumpkins after uh, the reservoir ran dry. Uh, I thought the res ran dry because they were, you know, transpiring so much. Uh, after that update video last time, I actually found that uh, when I was opening and closing the lid, sometimes it would knock uh, part of the PVC loose, which would then uh, drain over the lid and off the side of the res. So uh, it drained through the pumping action and not through transpiration from the pumpkins. So that's good news. That just means that uh, you can get away with you know a res this size for this much uh, green matter. Uh, but let's go and have a look at some of the fruits that are developing on the vines. And there's a watermelon that I'd like to put in the place of one of the pumpkins that uh, I lost due to that uh, res going dry. All right. So first of all, let's have a look at some of the fruits. Under this uh, sea of green, I love pumpkins. They just create like, they utilize every inch of space it's it's fantastic the leaf shape too you can see how uh they've evolved to um be a complete ground cover uh so if we pull these leaves back you can see this is the biggest pumpkin i've ever grown so far hydroponically uh so um i'm really excited uh i'm really excited i'm just really excited <laughs> There's a heap of other pumpkins forming as well uh, throughout the system. Uh, some of the fruits are failing. Uh, I think that they're a nutrient deficiency, um, so I'm going to have to play around with the nutrients, uh, maybe adjust it to uh, the pumpkin's requirements, uh, but I'm going to have to do a little bit more research uh, into the exact requ nutri nutritional requirements because I'm not versed on that specifically. Um, but yeah, system's working. So this pumpkin here didn't survive the res going dry. So I'm actually going to remove it and I'll show you the roots uh, that, that, that it developed before it you know, died. Uh, that, was, that was a couple of weeks ago now. So um, it, it had a fruit developing on it and I hoped that it would um, survive enough just to get like maybe a single pumpkin out of it. But um, nah. It's it's holding on, but barely, and and I'm pretty sure that it's holding on because the pumpkin vine itself has sunk into the ground roots, um, and it's no longer surviving from the NFT channel. So uh, that'd be interesting if uh, a pumpkin vine just you know starts you know walking away from the NFT system. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> oh, it just never gets old, does it? So, in its place, I want to put this. This is the watermelon grown in the Spider Farmer Grow Light Review. Uh, and I'm going to take this air pot um, off the roots. And we'll have a look uh, at the root ball. And then uh, hopefully I can, you know, uh, wash enough of the cocoa off uh, that I can get the roots into uh, the system uh, without, you know, clogging it up. And I can put this plant into this system and get a ton of watermelon as well. Right. So I'm just going to undo the plugs. Um that hold the pot together. There we go. It's just so simple. I love these pots. That's the root ball for the watermelon. See how the roots 
don't circulate around um, the pot, the, they air crop so that um, the roots are encouraged to fill out the entirety of uh, that pot. I was real skeptical that I'd be able to do that, but it seems to have worked pretty well. All right, turned out better than I thought. Uh, there's still a little bit in there, but um, it's inert, so it, it won't have any effect um, other than maybe causing a pump blockage, but uh, the perlite will float, so that's not really a problem. It's the cocoa that I'm worried about, uh, but there is a decent filter on the pump, so. Um, I just have to check on it a bit more than I usually would. And uh, I'm not saying this is 100% going to work. Fingers crossed. How do you do that? There we go. <laughs> so it's not the prettiest thing in the world. But uh, the plant's healthy, uh, the roots are in solution, it should bounce back, and I should get some watermelons. If they hang off uh, at this point though, I might, um, might need to support them. Anyway, while we're on the subject of watermelons, uh, here's a bonus update. Uh, this is the little Dutch bucket, uh, compact Dutch bucket system that I made, um, and apart from you know, the fact that when it floods, it lifts uh, all of this perlite up because it doesn't drain fast enough. Uh, it's really good. Um, yeah, just use that, use a different style of uh, fabric to keep that uh, perlite from going through, but just make sure it is just a little bit easier for the uh, nutrient solution uh, to get back down into the reservoir uh, freely. Um, that's the only problem I've had with this system. Uh, yeah, so I've just adjusted the cycle so that it fills uh, and then allows it to drain before it floats. But yeah, they're doing really well. So thanks for joining me today on Hoochos. Uh, this is where you can learn how to build the pumpkin system. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Happy hydroponicking. I see you green. It's just... Lovely to look at. Mm. I want to cover my whole house in it.